Okay, welcome to video three in the So You Want to Be a Computer Technician uh, series. Now, I'm presuming in this in this series, with the first few videos that I do, that you're watching them in order and that you've already watched the first couple of them. If you haven't, come back over to my videos and actually watch them in order. I think you'll get a lot more out of it that way. But firstly, in this video, I want to talk about something, which is what so a couple of the small tools that you're going to need to get started if you're going to do on-site service calls and the like. And you're going to need this whether you're doing corporate support or all the way down to um, working in, in somebody's house setting up their printer. I carry a small laptop with me. Now, whether you're going to carry a netbook or whatever, I carry a little bit larger laptop. It's got a, a, a DVD burner drive in it and what have you. Um, it doesn't have to be the most expensive thing in the world. You can buy it through like Dell's got a program that, where they'll check your credit and sell it to you on a month to month payment. I recommend you pay it off more quickly than they're going to offer. But um, you need a laptop. And there's a couple reasons for this. One is you're going to get out on site and things are not going to make sense with some problem that you're having. You'll plug your own device in knowing that it works and you'll be able to prove something. Many times I've talked to internet companies and explained to them that the quote unquote cable modem or DSL modem that, that, that they keep testing and it's fine will not work with my, my known good computer nor will it work with the customers and even though their equipment is testing correctly their diagnostics are coming through okay it's still shot. That is something you you cannot get through to them you can't bring home to them unless you can show them that your known good piece of equipment is not working there either uh, many other things are valuable that way a printer won't, won't do anything for a client you try installing it on yours and it has the same problem or it doesn't those kinds of things are invaluable um, I've tested everything from internet connections and printers to uh, burning software I've, tri I've tried all kinds of things for clients to see what was going on so that's very valuable. Having your own laptop is a must. A little laptop bag in the trunk of your vehicle, the back seat, whatever. You need to carry a few little essential things like a couple of extra network cables, some USB cables, some things like that. You can get them off a new egg. Just a few little parts like that. Maybe a little PCI network card, USB network card for replacing something if you get out and it's been blown out. It's a great way to get around problems, um, especially if you buy a network card that has drivers built in for older versions of Windows, so it'll automatically work with the now dying Windows XP all the way up through Windows 7 and, and beyond. So you're going to check that out. Next, you're going to need a basic understanding and eventually a fantastic understanding of doing brain surgery on a computer. And you can't do better than understanding the system registry, the Windows registry. And I don't care if you're talking about a, a Windows 98 PC, which, good God, they're old now, but I do still every once in a while encounter them, all the way up to Windows 7. You need an understanding of the registry, and they are remarkably similar remarkably similar and a lot of the things that you found in Windows XP you're going to find in the same places now there's things you won't but a lot of the things you're going to find in the same places this will help you hack out viruses manually maybe it's not being detected by the antivirus and similar so you need to get this book Microsoft Windows Registry Guide come down below the video you're watching there's a drop down it'll take you directly to the book out on Amazon so not only can I save you some money on it because it lists for $44.99 and you can get it for as little as $18.95 plus shipping it's a must have but I can also save you time looking for it. So click that link below the video. It'll take you directly to it. Wish you luck with that. Um, enjoy that book. You can go topic by topic looking at the certain things. And there's a couple of other guides about tweaks and similar in Windows XP, uh, Windows Vista, which is unfortunately you're going to encounter that a lot still. As of uh, this is... Um, back end of March 2011 you're still gonna see a lot of Vista and XP clients out there you need to understand those but anyway check out that registry guide and stay tuned for our next video have a good day bye